Cool. Where do I begin? Why don't you start from the beginning? December 18th. I've wanted to walk and stalk for the longest of times and although I have it's always been on smaller plots of land um, which allow a lot of things to be in your control. If you spook the animal you can get back onto it quite quickly, if the wind's swollen it doesn't really matter and on a smaller farm they're quite used to human scent. This however was the complete opposite. The land was as far as the eye could see uh, the game was wild and spookish the whole time and the winds were swirling constantly. I knew I had a tough few days ahead of me as I'd been there weeks prior, um, also coming home empty handed, but I knew I wasn't going to go home this time without doing everything it took. We worked really, really hard. We walked kilometers and kilometers, had many potential stalks or successful stalks, but it comes down to brush uh, too thick, uh, wind swelled in, or uh, my impatience that leads to spooking the animals. Obviously, lessons learned and it'll make me a better hunter in the future. But nonetheless, we put in a lot of hard work. That last day, specifically that last afternoon, I, I was so close to, to giving up. My feet were sore, my back was sore, I was tired, and quite honestly, camp, fire, uh, relaxing, and being around my friends again was, uh, was starting to get tempting. Like all good friends do, Tristan, who was helping me film or document this journey of mine, um, really brought me back to ground and reminded me of uh, what we were doing out there, what the goal was. And we only had about two hours left on the clock. So in those last two hours, we're working our way downhill, but upwind, obviously ensuring that animals couldn't pick up our scent. And it was at that point we decided you know, let's, let's get out of this, let's get to the tree line and at the tree line we can scout the plains and see if there's any games in the plains. And as we get to the tree line, there they are. Beautiful, beautiful herd of uh, uh, wildebeest, cows, calves and bulls. We have positioned ourselves in a way that this tree has completely concealed us, even though we are 150 meters away from it. One female wildebeest makes it particularly difficult for us to get to this ground level tree. But nonetheless, crawling on all fours, we uh, managed to get into the into position.
Chloe, Betty! <laughs> Give it up. She's down right there. can't really explain the feeling uh, to anyone that hasn't done it or, or hasn't put the grind in and the work in and the hours not only during the trip but before the trip the hours of training and practicing and tweaking the bow and tweaking the arrows um, choosing your broadheads what fletchers fly best you know what distances are you comfortable at maxing out at um, it's uh, it's something you can't explain you have to experience and uh, I will do it for the rest of my life I love it and uh, this was just, it was exciting, it was emotional, it was uh, soul testing, and I, I couldn't be more grateful.